Welcome to the Doug's Den channel on YouTube. Afternoon YouTube, it's Doug and you're watching Doug's Den. Right, um, as you can see, I'm out on the bike, finally. I um, got it fixed and I decided it was high time I took it out. And I am a bit out of puff at the minute. It's the first time in over a year that I've ridden it. And I've just come up a rather steep hill, so you'll have to forgive me for my shortness of breath. I seem to have found myself a nice little spot. It's just off a dirt track. I passed some uh, guys green lane in a 4x4 earlier. And uh, luckily they weren't hammering, gave me time to get out of the way. Yeah, so here I am. Do you know what? I'm looking around. This don't look like a bad spot for an overnight. Don't see too many people coming down here after dark. If you touch yourself away in the corner somewhere, Make it clear in. Be right as rain. Right, first things first, I think I'll do a little bit of grub. And I have brought with me some cheap baked beans and sausages. You can't beat beans, can you? Right, and the sausages go down nice too. Now, the reason I've come out today is because I bought one of these hexi stones, hexi burners. Um, and I've been, you know, meaning to give it a try. Everyone that uses them seems to get on okay, so I thought, why not give it a go yourself? You, know, you bought it, you've got to use it eventually. It's nice and compact, it's lightweight. And, uh, I just hope it does the job, otherwise it's a waste of money. So yeah, it um, just opens up. I've not used it before, as you can see. I've put a bit of tin foil in there, like a bit of... Um, I can just put underneath it to protect the ground. If it looks like it could catch fire. I'm looking at the ground, I've just made a little gap in there and I think it might be prudent. So yeah, I've got to give this a go. Right, also, um, it's my fire kit. It's only makeshift at the minute. Um, I've got to get hold of a proper container for it. I mean, it's got everything. It's got uh, stormproof matches, um, some candles, uh, swan bester matches. One thing that I haven't got in there yet is a lighter. Every time I'm down the shop, I keep meaning to buy a cheap throwaway disposable lighter to put in there, and I clean it again. I've also got a magnesium block, which is what I'm going to be using to start with. Um, the things uh, going a day, hopefully. I've used those, uh, I've made some of those cotton wool soaked in Vaseline, petroleum jelly. And I tried it for the first time, and do you know what? I could not believe it. Absolutely wonderful little kit. And I keep meaning to make the little straws that I've seen people make on YouTube. And uh, yeah, I've got some straws that I can do, and you know, it don't take five minutes. But for now, I've just got them wrapped up in small balls and wrapped up in a money bag. So yeah, let's get some grab on. Okay, so this is the area where I'm going to be cooking up. I'm just going to put this bit of tin foil down on this area here. I'm just 
think it's prudent, if you know what I mean. I could put some logs around there, just hold it down, but that's uh, not doing a bad job. Right, we'll now take one of these. Yeah, it's getting a bit blowy now. Wasted too much time. Right, I'm going to be using that and a magnesium block. And if that fails, I'll be using the trusty matches. Right, that can go in the bag. Right, here goes nothing. In my hasty packing though, there was one thing that I realised on the ride up here that I forgot to bring. Can you believe it? It's a spoon. <laughs> I could um, use something that I've got in my bag, but I think I'm going to improvise. I'm going to try and get a little bit more creative. So uh, I'm going to have a little look around and see what I can find. Right, I'm going to have a go at fashioning myself a little spoon eating utensil of some description. I just want to show you this, I bought this, um, actually I bought it in one of those uh, cheap shops, QD it's called, um, in Kings Lynn. Now, it's a little hatchet, don't get me wrong, it was as blunt as anything when I got it, but I've since sharpened the blade up, and uh, quite deal little talk we have, quite sturdy, really good. I've just used the saw to hack myself off a bit of wood and now I'm going to fashion me eating utensil. So yeah, this has got a knife on it, um, all the usual gadgets. But yeah, absolutely brilliant.
Yeah, I can't actually believe that I managed to leave a spoon. So I was only watching um, the guy yesterday, Funky Prepper. He'd um, put a video back up, it's been off for a while. And I was watching it and uh, he had to make one of these. And I, was, I remember thinking at the time, what a wally, eh? can you go out of the woods and forget a spoon? And what I go and do? Forget a spoon. So, uh, Funky, if you ever do watch this, thank you for the tip, mate, because it's coming bloody handy. Well, I'm getting a rough shape. It'll do of sorts once it's finished. Right, that'll have to do because I really didn't intend to come out here and show you how to make a spoon. Because the big part of this, I ain't got a clue this is the first one I've ever made. So, um, yeah, <laughs> can't believe I did that. Right, um, time to get some grub on, I think. Put a bit of the old magnesium on it. And let's see if it goes. And there she goes. First thing, I think I'm going to give this a clean. That's what Funky did yesterday in his video, so I suppose I'd better do the same. Let's get this block going. And that's just a cotton wool bud soaked in Vaseline, petroleum jelly. And I had no idea you could do that until I watched some guy do it on YouTube last week, and I was totally amazed. I've heard people speak about it, but it was the first time I'd actually seen it done, so I had to go out and try it myself. I was just blown away. It was absolutely brilliant. So I'll give this a good clean. I think that'll do for that. Yep, I can eat off that. Oh, it's going everywhere. Rubbish to one side for later. And the old stove seems to be working a treat. Yes, so far so good. I can't knock it. That sun seems to have gone in now, so I don't think I'll need the old shades. My future ain't that bright. Come on, let's get cooking. Alright, that can go down. Put this back together before I lose it. I think that's nearly done. Yes, all in all, I'm well impressed with that hexi stove. Look at the flame on it as well. 
It's a fair old flame actually. I think I better move this over a bit. Move his bag out of the way. Cheers. like someone's been camping here before because there was some uh, tent poles just dumped over there they look like they've been there a while so I don't know how often someone comes over it but I think it's definitely an ideal place and to be honest it ain't that far from the house it's like a 10 15, well, 15 minute bike ride I think the birds are a bit pissed off what are they crows magpies I think they're crows they ain't happy about as happy as the geese were to see me on the river. Even though they're only cheap beans, sausages, Tastes that much better out in the woods. I really do. It'll soon be time for your first overnighter. And I'm uh, really, really looking forward to that one. It's a bit tricky trying to eat with this, but it does a job. If I had more time and I'm you know, planning, Maybe could have fashioned something a little bit more suitable, but it's doing the job. There's another little bit of kit I've got in my bag. I've only brought my work rucksack with me. So I was only going for a little bike ride. I wasn't even too sure where I was going. So rather than bring the big backpack, just adapted the work rucksack and uh, off I went. I just want to show you this. Where is it? There we go. It's a two litre hydration pack, hydration bladder, so to speak. And yeah, it's uh, not even full up. And there was loads of water in there. Old's two litres. And it was dirt cheap when I saw it. It's made by Summit and uh, I had to have it. You know, it's ideal, even if I'm just going for bike rides. I've not even tried it yet. I've cleaned it out, I've filled it up, but I've not actually used it. You know, if you're on a bike ride and you've got this hose just coming out of your backpack, it's, uh, it's ideal. But is it going to work? That's the question. Of sorts. I think I've got to get used to it. It's, um, I'm getting water out of it. I'm just not getting a great deal in one hit. It's supposed to bite down or something. That's the one. Yeah, so it works. Another blinding bit of kit, which I'm well impressed with. You know, I don't go for all this expensive stuff. To be honest, I ain't got the money. And uh, the missus would kill me if I was to go out spending an absolute fortune on uh, kit. So yeah, things like that, just right up my street, you really don't want to go there, stay there. You know, when you see things like that and they're going for a song, you've got to take them. It wasn't even a tenner though. I must remember to invest in a good spoon. <laughs> So as you can see, that's the hexi burner. That there is the bit of cotton wool soaked in petroleum jelly, Vaseline. And obviously the square thing that's around it is the actual block you use. 
you know you get a fair old flame out of it it gives off a lot of heat you sort of flames yourself and uh, there's a result now I've not brought any wash kit with me so I'm just going to throw that in a carrier bag and wash it when I get home you know this is, it wasn't meant to be a epic expedition it was just a uh, quick out into the woods and see you know how the hexi burner works and the hydration bladder and that as I say is that that was absolutely lovely cheap beans and uh, sausages I'm going to have a quick electronic today's the last day um, since I've upgraded and got bought a new one they just don't seem to be lasting and it's costing me money now it's uh, I can you know justify it before I can't justify it now uh, I'm getting through instead of lasting 24 hours and not even lasting 12 so I think it's high time I not peas on the head so I think today will be the last day I'm back to work tomorrow Ooh, excuse me so um yeah I shall be giving up the electronic cigarettes so yeah all in all quite an enjoyable afternoon um, I think I'm feeling a spot of rain now which has annoyed me a little bit because it started out so so nice but um, what can you do about the weather this is England I think I'm gonna go for a little mooch about and see if I can pick out a good campsite this is um, off a track it's well they um, where the 4x4s do their green laning like I said I passed uh, some guys earlier so you're not going to get too many people down here after dark so I, I do think that um, I want a winner here so let's have a little mooch about and see if we can find the ideal spot shall we yeah so these are the woods and they uh, sit adjacent to a farmer's field which is as with the most most fields around here at the minute um, filled with rapeseed so yeah we'll just go for a little wander and I'll tell you one thing that I am going to do when I come out I've not seen anyone do it yet and that's um, bring some safety goggles with me because if I'm mooching about at night even with a light I've got a head torch and other torches and stuff Last thing I need when I'm out here on my own is to get poked in the eye if I'm walking about at night. So I definitely think that's something for the uh, go bag. Oh, where was it? Yeah, over here, not far from where I was, I found these. So someone's definitely, definitely been camping here. They look quite old, they're all rusted up and uh, whether or not someone's been here recently, I don't know. It's quite a large, well, modest size, it's out in the way, you know, and it's, like I said, if I have to get up and move out, I'm not too far from home. It's all right around here. I think I've struck gold. I have to get myself over this way a bit because this way is a bit more away from the track over there. Make a little clearing. And Bob's your uncle. Oh, the pheasants are kicking off. <laughs> Place is alive with pheasants around here. It just I might have to bring me catapult actually. There's a pheasant. Let's see if you can see him. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's just starting to rain, just spitting. Nothing to write home about. Yeah, see? I could do it here, yeah, make a little clear in there. Mind you, over there's better, because there's no uh, 
overhanging branches, widow makers, so to speak. Mind you, there's a lot of bloody stinging nettles to clear. I'll have to look at this, but it's definitely top of my list at the minute. I'd rather do it here than Forestry Commission land. I've spied out a couple of places at a local forest that's a uh, couple of miles from my house. And I was there with a the dog the other day and it was uh, it was nice, it's full of deer, muntjac deer, but um, yeah, it's, if you get caught then you've got that trek of getting home, you know. Shouldn't do. I don't think the Forestry Commission worked that late at night, did they? As long as you're being discreet, I don't think it'll be a problem. Loads of nests up there, yeah, they're close. Bloody noisy things. Couple of dirt bikes just gone over there. I mean, this county is, it's, it's built for it. It's built for off-road. So many little lanes. No, uh, they seem to have disappeared. Right, that rain seems to be getting a little bit stronger, so I'm gonna have to pack up all my kit and uh, get back on my bike and head home. Right, well. Hope you enjoyed that little demonstration on the Exi stove. I'm well impressed with it, well pleased. It was money well spent, it was dirt cheap, it cost hardly anything, same as that hydration bladder. So yeah, all in all, um, happy days. The clouds ain't looking too bad, but oh, you never know, dear. Right, I better get packed up. The hydration bladder, it just fits nicely in me work rucksack. It's all closed off, sits in there, zips up. Yeah, that hatchet, it um, comes with a little cover for it there. It's made by Rolson and it, it's got this little wallet that comes with it. And it's um, absolutely amazing. Like I said, dirt cheap. And uh, what's that, like a little spanner? I've not, not even noticed that, I just saw it was a hole. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm well pleased with that buy as well. Yeah, I also keep a first aid kit with me when I'm out and about. Um, yeah, it's got, um, you know, it's everything that you need for basic first aid. But I'm not going to go through it now. I might do that another time. But obviously you can add to it. You can get yourself a bigger one if you want. But it's, it's all about weight. You've got to keep the weight down. But yeah, this didn't cost much either. So it's just something that um, I'd advise that you have. You should have a first aid kit, you know. If you're out in the woods, you're out doing your thing, then to go out without a basic first aid kit like this would be a bit foolish. So I strongly recommend that you do add it to your kit. Have a little clean up. Take this back with us. Like I said, I'm going to take it back and wash this up when I get it home and I've got myself a little carrier bag for that and as always we clean up after ourselves and no one as you can see would know that we were there Done. Get back on the bike, head out, put it out, chucks it down. Well, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, until next time, take care, dug out.